looks like they're actually waiting for me to finish. I'm done. I'm done. All right, so this is our upper bracket final. David versus Norman. Right here on Taste of Plane TV. Thank you once again, everybody, for joining us today. A very exciting day, very exciting month for the Quad Damage Tournament, but David is making his way back up to the Red Armor Room as quickly as he possibly can. Norman got a rail out of that. He's got a little bit of armor, but this is one of the situations that I always think is really interesting. One guy will have, like, all the stack and a chain gun and maybe a rocket launcher. The other guy will have, like, none of the stack, but he'll have that rail gun. And you've al already got, like, this really weird balance. What the fuck? That was the fastest chain gun kill I've, like, seen in fucking forever. Oh my god. That was beautiful. He whipped right around that corner. Was he, like, waiting there? I, I, I wish I could go back in time now. That was absolutely beautiful. Two on one now. Norman still with red armor and a railgun. Looking to take this next frag up. See? Shit like that. Yes, the, the railgun's important in this map, but it's not just grab railgun GG. It's not like that at all. The game involves... Alright. Nice rail out of, out of Norman, but he's only at 9 health. Nice jump, by the way, too. Up those stairs. He's gotta be really careful. Lost 4 health through that SSG. Only 4 health from an SSG blast. It's pretty minimal. But there it is. Taking him down. David now. In the lead here by a single frag. He's got a decent amount of chain gun, but man, this hyper blast is just gonna ignore a good amount of his red armor and take him down. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say that the the hyper blaster is more of a plasma gun. The bolts are a little bit slower, uh, but they also uh, treat your armor as if it were one grade less than the armor that you have, because again, Quake Two has. Uh, tiered armor. I would love if the Hyper Blaster had a little bit of splash to it. I would actually really appreciate that. It was different in Doom, right? Because the plasma gun bolts were like so big. But the Hyper Blaster is like pretty small, and yeah, it would be nice if. Yeah. I, I would actually appreciate splash damage. Anyway, David up here, 6 to 3. It's got the good stack, just taking away Railgun now. Norman trying to make some damage happen with grenades. Oh, almost got that last hit. But he's relatively short on options here. Nice. David's putting a lot of pressure on the upper hallways, though. Misses the, the spawn rail, though. Still trying to make it happen with grenades, but David's making his way in. Oh, he almost used that grenade to jump over to red armor. <laughs> that would have been cheeky. I appreciate the fact that he tried. Yeah, one of the things, like, technically in Quake Live, we, we have the ability to change a lot of variables and make things behave in a different way. However, I don't believe that the messaging is good enough so that you can look at a server and go, okay, this is the way that this is going to play, this is the way this is going to play. That's why I still usually suggest, you know, if you want to play, play it like Quake 2, play Quake 2. If you want to play it like Quake World, play Quake World, because at least when you walk into those games, you know what you're getting. With Quake Live servers, it's like, alright, somebody could have checked this box and checked that box, and it, it's kind of random. Anyway. Nine on three here. David, very weak, but good rockets out of him. Norman's trying to make it happen, but he's going to be blowing himself up. Unfortunately for him, the red armor on the spawn's not available. He's not even getting any weapons out of that, so that gives David a lot more momentum here. That was hopefully the momentum shift for Norman, because he got David so weak, but ended up rocketing himself. That happens sometimes. <laughs> But we got Mega taken away by David here. Norman trading that with a railgun. Nice damage out of Norman, actually, with that rocket. And again, very good use of the chain gun. Chain gun is definitely the run up to my dude and make him run away. Nice. David's railable here, though. So is Norman, but Red Armor's up. He's gonna go for the jump. Knows that David's down low. Gonna try to avoid this rocket. Yeah, okay, cool. It could be a little bit harder to attack the red armor guy. It's a little bit safer here than it is in other games. Only marginally. 
Getting caught with a rail as you're trying to go for the jump is just GG. I like that Norman's slowing this down a lot. Oh my god, he actually did the jump! I've never been able to do that very well. Cool, that makes me happy. So halfway through, eight frags between them. Norman's still in this. He's still got a lot to work with here. But he needs to get in a hit on David here pretty soon. The last thing Norman wants is to... Yeah. Is to let David go, Okay, there you are. Time to, time to hit you. A lot. Nice grenade. Yeah, spawning... Ooh, ooh. I lagged a little bit while that grenade exploded, so you didn't get to hear it, but you still got the frag off of it. So Norman now, with grenade launcher and red armor, is looking for a railgun. Very, very good angles on those grenades. David was able to grab a mega health off the spawn, but he's got half of that knocked off now. Nice. There's the rails that Norman needed. And yeah, now he has an opportunity here to sit at this location and get a lot of punishment shots off. But you can see that that spawn makes things kind of ambiguous. Your opponent can get away from a, s a few different angles at that point. Oh, even with the mega pickup, Norman still should be able to pick that up. No? He's actually gonna have to leave it. So good aggression from David on the mega there. Oh, do you actually need to, like, change your, your frame rate significantly to make that jump happen? Oh. Uh, there's some of the deep magic of Quake 2. Some of the deep bullshit magic. <laughs> oh, Norman needs to deny this mega. There it is. Beautiful shot. Now he's only four frags down with three minutes to play. You know, he's been making very good use of this, of this run, but now, I don't know. Pushing yourself into this room to try to make your opponent run away. I, I never really liked that. But he stuck his opponent back in the grenade launcher teleporter. Okay. And now he can come back and take this red armor. Unless he misses the jump. But now David has a railgun. This changes things significantly. Yeah, this comes down to the next or one or two rail hits. Nice softening up by Norman here. Oh, David needs to hit this. He got the one in. Norman down to 89 and 25, but now he's only three frags down. He really does need this red, though. It's going to be traded with Mega. Oh, he couldn't quite make the jump. Ah. He has the bind to make that teleporter jump, but not what... All right, all right, that's fine. So he gave him a bit of time to make that grab. But now it's red armor to Mega and a little bit of jacket. It's kind of rough. Not quite the easy control that Norman enjoyed for the last minute or so. Things are certainly looking more favorable for David now. Norman needs to get, yeah, he needs to get one of these spam rockets to connect at least a little bit here. David really needs to get punished for this. Oh my god, but he was around the corner. It's two pixel rail shots. In a row! And unless, yeah, these rockets can fill up David right now. Ooh, nice one. Alright. Second to last rocket. Got the frag, but with 21 health, even with that red armor, I'm not sure how useful Norman can be here. Look at this, he's not really wanting to commit to this fight. Coming in close range against SSG with almost no ammo. This is really touch and go. He's so desperate for this frag. He's gonna get it though, but down to 13 health. This mega is gonna be important for him. There's the grab. Down by two frags, he can take away Railgun and deny that from David. He's out of rockets now. I don't know if David's gonna get smoked into a situation where Norman can make an easy rail shot pretty soon. Certainly David can hear it. So Norman, yeah, he's gonna do the right thing here. He's gonna go get, I don't know if he made, needed to make the rocket jump. He's gonna go get red and use that as fuel for this next fight. I'm sure he was trying to drop down on that. Can he chase through it? Oh, he's going to be eating so much hyperblast out of the teleporter. So nasty. And he was so focused on the frag that he still let David get a railgun. But it's going to be shut down. One frag, 18 seconds. Mega's up, and he's so nervous about going for the pickup, but he needs it. That hand grenade could have ended him, actually. 
And look at this, David just throwing down grenades as fast as he can. Norman on the chase. Does David have jacket armor? Yes, he does. Two seconds, he's down at the quad damage, and there it is, David taking the upper bracket final by a single frag. But you know what? That means that if these guys go head-to-head -head again, I'm gonna be really excited to see it. It's gonna be good shit.